So welcome back to School of Calisthenics. We are very excited to be here with Mike from Mike's Gym. We've just had an amazing camp out here. We've been here for three days in Marbella under Mike's amazing hospitality and tutelage. Is that the right tutelage. word? Tutelage. We're talking about that. We had a great time. We had a group of um, 16 people out with us doing some calisthenics and um, getting into grips with what Mike does out here. So we thought he's, okay, he's yeah, too much of a good guy to let us go away without getting him on the podcast. We, we got the full experience of what it is like to have Mike encourage you <laughs> around Mike's assault course that he's built with his own hands. And when he says to you, it took me a week to put those pillars there, you better <laughs> run, go over them and not walk around them because that's how long it took me to put them Like It holds real, um, yeah, real value. And um, to sit your, your, I think the thing that comes across is your, your passion for the whole thing, like not just training, but literally like you've built this place with your hands. You've been showing us some pictures of, of when you got it, but just give us a bit of the background, like how on earth did you end up here and how did this whole thing start? Oh God, that's a long story. Um, but yeah, it just started off by um, putting a small gym in that used to be a, a warehouse here. We had a jet ski business and we used to store the jet skis in what is now the gym. Um, and in the back of this, there used to be a small gym because I used to go to the other gyms around and couldn't use this and couldn't do that. And I've always been sort of circuit um, orientated with what I've, I've done. I've never been a lifter. I've never been much of a runner. I just like to combine the whole lot and put it together and do whatever I fancy doing. So I had a small gym in the back and it all started off with a few friends coming to train with me. Oh, that sounds good. We'll come along. And then for one reason came, or another. And they came back after you were And they come back again, you. again and again, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, and then we just extended the gym a small bit. So a few more friends started coming. And then we had some, they changed the law in Spain where you had to be a certain distance apart from your next um, jet ski rental business. And we happened to be right in the middle of two um, hotels. So we lost our license, which then that business went down um and what da how what date was it when was that what year this was that? is in sort of this was in 2008 something like that right. what brought you to i'm a, i'm detecting that it's not right. a spanish the, accent the the, <laughs> You're not the whole the whole <laughs> the whole thing with coming to spain was that we come on a stag do initially and never went home <laughs> basically, <laughs> one way ticket basically never Good went stag home. Do. But we come with, there, we, we, we was a group of jet ski racers and we went everywhere together. And we always took our jet skis wherever we went. So we've come on this stag do, we've booked to stay for eight days. I wound up staying for another week. Then I went home for a week, come back for the month of August to give the guys where we particularly was on this beach that was running a jet ski rental business. I come back and give them a hand um, because I had a small jet ski rental business in the UK, just part time just in the afternoons, in the summer and stuff. It wasn't nothing major, it was just a bit what of fun. Were you doing, what, what were you doing as a job in the UK? I was a market trader in the UK, um, selling um, food. Yeah. Um, so that's what I've done for the last 15 years back in the UK. And we've always had um, retail outlets, um, bakeries, supermarkets, fruit and veg, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. So you should deal with the public yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. Is that where you got your customer service skills customer from? Customer service right? skills from. <laughs> it's been born and bred into me since I was right, three yeah. years old. Terrified about coming to get a punt of strawberries <laughs> from you. <laughs> I'm assuming no one ever stole from your shop. Let me tell you. Um, so yeah, we come out, that's what we've done. I stayed for an extra week and then cut a long story short, the guys that were running it wasn't going to do it the following year and the guy that owned the whole thing said to me, do you fancy having a go? And there was my ticket. <laughs> Um, so that was that. I was back the next year. I had a conversation with a guy in the December. And then um, the next year I was here, eight jet skis, quads, bikes, uh, boats, and, and all sorts, ready to work on the beach. And that's how it all started. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got, what you've got set up now is an incredible facility. You can literally, when we, when we first well, saw quote it. Quote Men's Health, the best, one of the best gyms in the world. One of the best gyms in the world, yeah. yeah. But we looked at it, we were like, that. It's probably the one bit, you didn't just take that bit do you know what well, I, I, I couldn't do it <laughs> i wasn't biased to but i couldn't do it it's not in my nature yeah, yeah. <laughs> we looked at this place and we were like we need to get out of there because it's a proper playground especially for the sort of yeah. training that we like um you've just got stuff hanging everywhere you've got an unbelievable amount of kit here 
And the obstacle course is so impressive. And you were telling us when we, when we got here on Thursday night a bit about how you've constructed that. And just, just talk us through about how it's evolved. Because everyone, like, everyone now knows obstacle course racing. Yeah. But you've been in this and building this thing way before that was a popular trend as it is today. Yeah, I mean, I was, again, in a fortunate enough position that I was into doing different kinds of um, events. And a lot of the inspiration, to be fair, come from the Tough Guy, mm -hmm. the original Tough Guy, when it was a real Tough Guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, event. And obviously, through one reason or another, they've had to soften it up and health and safety stepped in and you know you can't do this and can't do that and can't do the other so that's where a lot of the inspiration come from but it was a case that i get bored very easily i don't like the gym mm -hmm. i'll be honest i really do not like the gym it's a necessity there and it helped me while i was off season for my jet ski racing going to the gym do a few circuits keep in shape but my thing was getting out and doing it outside so the course come, I mean, the natural terrain of the place, as you can see, is quite a, a challenge in any case. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's been even more of a challenge constructing out there. Everything takes five times as long as it does, maybe even longer than it does to construct on the flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting the materials there, working on the hill, sliding down the hills. It was an absolute nightmare. But we persevered and just using the natural terrain and natural materials, as in lots of timber, um, lots of logs and just anything that was sort of lying around or that I could get my hands on by the lorry load and take it out there and make something from it to use as exercise. Mm. As you can see, running up and down them stairs, oh my God, it's ridiculous in itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even just up and down the bank sides, putting the hump in the way, that was literally all the, the mess that come off that area that we'd cleared up. We just piled it all in a hump, mm. flattened it all off and there's another hump. So yeah, we just like to use what's in and around our surrounding area. Obviously, the metalwork side of things is another story. I've always been um, handy with wood and metal, and that's the, one of the biggest yeah. reasons I used to go to school for, was metalwork and woodwork every yeah, lunchtime. I think one, one of the things that's like really special about it and comes across is that you were almost built it, the assault course, to itch that scratch that itch sorry of the fact that you love you love doing stuff but yeah. you don't want to be in the gym and i love when you were telling us you were like if you don't like one you don't like the obstacle that's fine i didn't build it for you yeah. it built, <laughs> it you're for like, I built it for me <laughs> and so i'm flipping good at it yeah exactly and like, but what's really beautiful is you've built this thing for yourself and you've put so much effort into it and made this incredible thing that then people now from all over the world are coming to just then enjoy it and the, the, it's almost like the beauty of it is that you haven't tried to make you said you had no plans no nothing i just no. built something that i wanted to do and each year i just try and build add something to it add something is to it, it add something to it as i said to you the other it's day so organic, I, don't, it's yeah, I don't try to impress anybody it's all because i wanted to do it nobody said to me you should do well i have loads of people say it to me <laughs> yeah. you should do this you should do that you need one of these you need one of that absolutely not interested I just do it because I think it's a good idea and it normally works to my strengths. I'll be totally honest with you, yeah. like I said to you, I, built, your, that, I, your built, I built that course out there so I could beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Please believe me. And that's how it started off. Obviously, yeah, I've been kicked in the teeth a few times lately, <laughs> mm. but even so, yeah. it's still, yeah, everybody does seem to, uh, to love it. Yeah, yeah. Particularly the strength side of it, which I'm a bit disappointed that you guys didn't get to... Uh, yeah. Smash out there, but I'm sure we've got an hour. We've got an hour. We've got an hour for you. You'll be back. We're Have back. you? Mate, we'll get out there. Out of the course, I've, I'm going back Monday. <laughs> <Good lad. laughs> I'm back on Monday. <laughs> I spoke to Jacko before he came out, and I said to him, thinking about trying to do something. We had this yeah. conversation the weekend yeah. about like I think I might want to try and get into a bit of obstacle course racing because I miss the metabolic side of what yeah. the training is I do now. I get strong and I move well. I really enjoy that side of stuff, but I miss that kind of like bit of sick. A yeah, a bit of like bit of, bit of iron in your blood. Is, Tim, is, Tim is gonna, he said he's going to sign up. But, we're, like, but what we, we talked about with the calisthenics that we like about it is it's, it plays the natural strengths of the body. You can kind of start to look at human movement as it is being strong in the world, not just in the gym. And I think when I go out there, then I'm like, that's... Yeah, it's, that it's, feels it's, like being strong in the world, doesn't it? Can I run up a hill? Absolutely. I, I love the a while ago with about, you there. Um, There's no point. training. Yeah. And that's the sort of stuff. You're going to be a hero. 
get yeah. out there. Yeah, and, and You're not going to be a hero lifting 200 kilos above your head. No. When do you need to do that in real life? Yeah. This is my whole point. Yeah. You need to be able to move. You need to be able to jump. You need to be able to grab someone out of a hole, whatever mm, it might yeah. be. It's natural movements and natural, natural yeah. strength. And that, the combat zone, it's not just, it's not, listen, everything's got a technique. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But it's still raw. It's still raw strength. I call it farmer strength. Yeah. It's yeah. like an old farmer yeah. that works. F there's no such thing as an eight hour day in a farmer's life. Yeah. It's like 12, 18 hours a day that that man's working and humping and pulling and doing whatever he's doing. And for me, that is the kind of person that is going to win out there. Yeah. And that's what I've been brought up with is always unloading lorries, loading lorries, pulling this, pulling that, lifting this, lifting yeah. that, lifting the other. Well, we've talked before about when you're playing rugby and you go yeah. play somewhere like Market Raisin or Awful. you go out somewhere in the, where all the farmers are and the, you, you get, get your flipping ass. beaten. And it's another breed of person. <laughs> it up. really is. It's like, yeah, you know, like that man strength. Where when, it's just when, like, where's that come from? When you look into some of the, the, the events out there and they do a particular one that I've read about, I can't remember the name of it, but it's in the Basque country, mm. the Spanish farmers and the stones and stuff that they chuck around and have to carry over the, the hills and the, and, the, and the natural terrain that they have to do, it's ridiculous. Mm. They pick up these massive big stones and have to fry them over there, whether they be round, whether they be square, whatever they may be. Now, them guys are just yeah. absolutely so yeah. strong. I loved the, the other thing I loved about the, so that, that feeling of being strong out in the world on the assault course, having I haven't tried to jump over like a big high wall. Last time I was probably on an assault course 10 years ago doing an army training yeah. camp for a yeah. rugby pre season. After the bomb. After, yeah, yeah probably after <laughs> or a but, I, but I remember looking at it and people jumping around and I was thinking, I was a bit like, I don't really, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know. And then it sort of jumped, grabbed the top and it was just like, oh, my, my body just went to like muscle up. Yeah. And I was like, actually, I loved how it was like what we're, what we do in the with the calisthenics in yeah, the gym it and the bar, apply. Like it does transfer. And one thing I do want to do with my training is be more. I've been talking to Tim recently about like there's not, there, for me there'll be an ultimate like grip width on my yeah. on my on my pull up on, on my muscle up to to be most effective. Yeah. But actually having options on a dip, so that was like doing it on a ledge yeah. or doing it with different and like just having those movement options. Mm. We've been talking a lot more with, and that just strength and play. And then the, the other thing that I just loved when I was there, like, I, I remember thinking halfway through when you were beasting us on the sort of um, cardio bit where you're running up and down those the steps, but the, I, mean, I slid on my ass on one because yeah. I was trying to copy Tim and yeah, didn't use the, the, didn't use the, um, the <laughs> right. rope. But you focused so hard on what you're doing and not falling over it and everything that's going on that you're like, you're so mindful about what's going on. You're in the moment and you're not thinking about the bills I've got at home, or this, nothing. that, the all, nothing. Like, no, you're completely submerged in it. You that, do absolutely lose yourself Christ, out there. There's yeah, no yeah, doubt yeah, about it, that. You lose, you lose yourself. Christ, and, and not only that, there's so much going on out there. The, the, the thing with this course, and it is a, a training facility, it's not a course built for commercial reasons. We're yeah. not here to make thousands and thousands of pounds like these tough mothers and whoever else is out there do with thousands and thousands of entrants. It's a place for people to come and train for those events to make those events a lot easier. Yeah. I mean, we don't make them bigger or harder for bragging rights. Mm. We do it, I personally do it for a reason, that when they go to one of these events, anything that compares to this place should be easy. Yeah. Every, I mean, on, on, on one of those events, there's an obstacle maybe every maximum every 500 meters, absolute maximum. Normally it's a kilometer before mm. there's another obstacle if you're lucky. We're here, it's like literally 20, 30 metres there's something else, yeah. 20, 30 metres there's something else. You haven't got time to get tired. You just need to think, right, what's coming next? What's yeah. coming next? Am I going to jump? Am I going to crawl? Am I going to swing? Am I going to lift? Am I going to whatever? You just don't know what is coming. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the lap is only four kilometres around. And still, I mean, the lap Friendly. time. What, how many obstacles have you got out there? In there's, there's more or less 100 elements, we call mm. them. We don't call them obstacles because we've got the lifting, we've yep. got the frying, we've yeah. got this, we've got that. We've got so many different variants of, of an obstacle mm. course. Um, but the fastest lap time is still just short of 50 minutes, under 50 minutes. So 4K to be running 50 minutes wow. is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're running sort of bloody hell, 4K on a short course in sort of 20, 30 minutes normally. So it's sort of yeah, double the time incredible. because of the intensity of the obstacles or the lifting or mm. whatever it might be. Do you, know, do you know the name of the person? Who is it? Frank. Frank. Frank from Holland. 
Yeah, oh, he's the guy that's got him Frank. I can't. Do you know what? I think there's only one funny Frank. Frank Holland, what's his name? Van Shot or something like that. <laughs> Van or something. Yeah, it's all the same out there, as you know. <laughs> but um, but I also like the idea that like if that's a bit easy, you've got a 20 kilo bag out there which you can carry around <laughs> yeah. with you as well. It's we've not done hard that top section. I'm not kidding you. We go. We've been through a few training sessions when we was um, working up to the 24 hour race, where you do a lap of the top section. Then you do a lap at the top section with 20 kilos. And then we built that up over a four or five week period where we was doing five laps continuously mm. with a 20 kilo bag. So when you put that 20 kilo bag down, oh, oh my, my God, it becomes very, very yeah, easy yeah. to get around there. Yeah. So the variance out there is just yeah. absolutely endless. So do you do like one big or a couple of big races a year? We do, we do, do three hope? races a year now. We yeah. do one in April, which we call the Assault at Mike's Gym, which is yeah. just on the Assault course. And obviously, over the rig and everything we got here, mm -hmm. we do what's coming up on the 23rd of September is the Summer Slaughter. Okay. With the Summer Slaughter, we do a lap of the assault course. Then we send you off for a run. It's a five and a half K run. And on the run, you do a kilometre and a half with a 20 kilo bag down a really nasty hill and up the other side of the hill. And then you have to come back in and you have to go over the pool rig twice to finish the race. Did you so see me go over the pool rig? Yeah, I see you doing the flying monkey over the pool rig. I was surprised that, didn't yeah. it? Shh, Jesus Christ, you should <laughs> do that Yeah, but I'm absolutely rubbish. Jesus massive Christ. Scare. You saw me at the top of that oh cargo and I was scared I was. Let's pick up on that because we, the original plan we came over was right, we, we arrived Thursday, the rest of the team arrived yeah, sort of Friday nice. afternoon. We had, a, we had a sit down, right? On, on, on Friday, when we get the guys here, four o'clock, we were on time for that, which was which was good. Um, yeah, righto. Yeah. <laughs> was it, we I was to... very lenient there. Like, well, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> the plan was to go for a walkthrough. And I don't think a lot of the guys that we brought with them, they knew there was an assault course here. But we kind of thought, oh, we have a play on the assault course. None of us were quite expecting what a walkthrough was actually going to be. With my, with no, let me t I was going to say, a walkthrough with me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was before what we did the proper assault course like, later on in the weekend. But what, there was some great feedback from a lot of the guys that, that got into it and that they absolutely loved it, but they would never have done it Without, if, you, if you'd if not you were, put us yeah. through it. And yeah. that, everybody was, came out of it absolutely buzzing. And the way that you, you run the assault course and you're, the way that you motivate and push people is just like, it, it's an absolute dream because you come in, we're all sat there going, flipping it, this is going to be serious. Mm. But you've got a, an amazing coaching contrast of being able to push people, get them to do things that they don't think they can do, but then there's that hand on the shoulder, like that, yeah, yeah. that well done afterwards. Yeah. Like you and said, that, so it's the only thing line, you want people yeah. to do is push themselves, yeah. whether they're good, bad or indifferent. Doesn't matter. Ability for me has never been what it's been about. It's about, and that comes from myself, being not a natural athlete. I've not been given anything. Mm. I've had to work at everything. So everything that I've done or achieved or whatever has been done through bloody hard work. Yeah. Um, so for me, the hard work is the most important thing. Mm. It's yeah. not a Billy at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, we appreciate that because you've had it. Um, it's, you say you've come through some situations with health and stuff recently, and we can see that, like you said to us, I want to come out there because I'm like Mike's gym is you. And yeah, that makes it such an enjoyable place to be, and we can't thank you enough for what you've done for us this weekend because the guys have had a great time. One hundred percent, we're coming back. Like we've absolutely loved good, it. good, good. It's, it's been, been great special. to have you. First lot of calisthenics <laughs> boys, anyway. Yeah, Hopefully, yeah. not the last. No, we're coming. Back. We're too soft for you. Hey? <laughs> we went to Let me tell you something, there's been a lot firmer. <laughs> so, I'll guarantee you one thing, you did give me 100% the other day, and again, that's all I asked for, so yeah. what can I say? Yeah. The guys did well, didn't they? They've done brilliant. Do you know what? Like Everybody that. done, listen, like I say, 100% is 100%, and you all give it that. So yeah, for yeah. me, you get a pat on the back for me, yeah. that's for sure. It's amazing. So if anyone has not heard of Mike's gym, look him up. He's on his, um, what's your website? Where's, where do people best get in touch with um, Mike? Get in touch, info at Mike's gym, my bad. Yeah. Dot com. yeah, they've got accommodation on side, they can sort all that out. There's loads of different training packages you can do. You've got access to all the facilities you need, whether you want to do CrossFit, whether you want to get a assault course, probably the best thing to do is a combination of everything. Yeah, I do feel that the place is unique, obviously, for the uh, assault course and the yeah, combat yeah. zone, the strength side of things. You can go, I mean, our gym is like a normal gym. It's got weights, it's got the 
cardio machines, it's got everything that you need in there, but you can do that, you know, in a lot of places. Yeah. But for me, to get that experience out of there is what we're unique for. Yeah, yeah. So. I think if, if you're into your training, you like to do something different, whether you're into like obstacle course racing or not, if you just like getting an out and doing some, some decent graft and challenging yourself, like we talk about redefining your impossible, yeah. you certainly do that to people, and you certainly did that to us out there, and I think that if you don't go out there at least once before you die, you're gonna you're gonna yeah, just just to put a thing across. We have lots of different um, again abilities of, of fitness that come all yeah. different shapes and sizes, and every single person mm -hmm. comes away with something they didn't think they could do. Yeah, yeah. there's 100 so, percent that from us yeah. from all of our yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. It was great to see that. So yeah, yeah Mike, we must have appreciate you looking after us for yeah. this weekend. Yeah, um, we're Let's definitely coming back, and I think we got old team here. Yeah. Yeah. Give Mike Thank you. Pat on the back and the crap for that. So you know the drill. This has been Tim, Jacko and Mike, School of Calisthenics. Until next week. All I've got to say, don't fuck about people. <laughs> and? <laughs> See you next week. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't give me a, you can't give me a script. It never works. <laughs> <laughs> can't play it.